Lesson 6 Vai Yomer Vai Yomer and he said So the first syllable is what we call a sharp syllable because there's a double consonant here Vai Yomer The first syllable is um, closed Vai Second one's open Yo and the last one is closed Mer The vowels this one here is called a patach. This one here, the dot, is a cholem. And this is a, a segol. Aleph here um, has got no force as a consonant. And so it has no shva underneath it, telling us that it's not a consonant. By yomer. Elohim, God. Just a reminder, it's got two syllables. Elohim. The first is open. Elo. And the last is closed. Him. The vowels here. We have the um, cholem. The chirik. And what's called the chatef segol which is a very short e sound but it's only half a vowel and this is why this is one syllable here elo it's not e lo it's elo him so a word only has as many syllables as it has full vowels not half vowels ra Ki ang, ra ki ang. So, this is the expanse, or the firmament, um, or the barrier. Ra ki ang. So syllables ra, open, and ki ang, closed. Ra ki ang. We have um, a kametz here and a hirik. However, the patach under the ngayin is not treated as a vowel. It's called patach furtive because in pronunciation it steals in before its consonant. Ra kiang. So ra kiang. Just like the case of Ruach, Ruach, not Ruha. And although it is pronounced, it's a sound that slips into the consonant um, to make it easier to pronounce. So we say here, inserted for euphony to make it easier on the ear. So, Rakiang just like ruach betoch betoch in the middle of betoch so b has got this dagesh called the dagesh lene the um, weak dagesh t has no dagesh but in spanish and portuguese it's still t betoch there's only one full vowel here o which is unchangeable and so there's only one syllable Betoch. So, in the middle of. Ham mayim. Ham mayim. So, we have one vowel, two vowels, three vowels. Ham mayim. The waters. <coughs> so, the E, the last syllable. This here indicates that this is the accented syllable. Ham mayim, not ham mayim. So ham mayim. And also it marks the end of a clause. It's the halfway point in a sentence. Vihi, and let there be. Vihi, let there be, is yehi, yehi. 
and V added to it. V Yehi becomes Vihi. Because when we have two Shavas together at the start of a word, E is inserted. And here we have this dot here under the Vav followed by Yud giving us E. It's quite different to Vayihi and there was. This is Vihi and let there be. Mab deal, mab deal, causing to divide or dividing, mab deal. So it's a participle shown by m, just like singing, walking, dancing. These are participles in English, um, and it's from the same root as vayabdel, which we saw before, which is bedal. The vowels here, patah and hirek. This here is dividing the syllable, mab, the syllable ends on the b, this is the syllable divider, and then deal, mab, deal. So notice that b here is preceded by the patah, a. Ah. D and then preceded by B with Dagesh Lene. And the D here has Dagesh Lene because it's the start of this syllable. Mab and then Dil. Mayim la mayim. Mayim la mayim. Waters to waters. So the vowel m in the first word. Mayim a. Ah. In the second, a. Ah. Mayim la mayim. Because the second word is the last word in the verse. And so the voice rests on it. We have a weight to it at the end of the verse. And this has the effect of lengthening the vowel. Mayim la mayim. And such a word is said to be in pause. Generally speaking, um, very few people are punctilious about long and short vowels in their actual day-to-day uh, -day pronunciation. Mayim la mayim. Prepositions like we see here with l sometimes take a tone long a ah instead of the short i uh sound when they are directly in front of the accented syllable, as we are here in front of the accented syllable, which is this one. La mayim. Two waters. Not to the waters which would be la mayim. So we have a lam mayim with the doubled here, m, lam mayim. So this is a tone long vowel. It doesn't contain the same meaning as the patah here. The stroke over the m which you don't find in printed texts nowadays, tells us there's an absence of a Dagesh Forte. So it's not a doubled letter. It's not Lam Mayim, as this is Lam Mayim here. It's La Mayim. Here we have a collection of words without vowel points, which you should look over.
and vocabulary. Mab deal, dividing. Mab deal. Mab deal. Mayim, waters. Mayim. Ra kiang, expanse, barrier, division. Ra kiang. Remember, this here is not a full vowel because it's a furtive or hidden vowel. And so we only have two proper vowels here, and so we only have two syllables. Ra, kiang.